let's show you how Coco's feathers grew in. When Coco first came to me, she was came to me caged with Lucky Lou. And Lucky Lou loved preening her head feathers. Lucky Lou was like a over preener like Coco. So, of course, Coco's head was a easy target. So she would preen Coco's head and over preen so Coco didn't have any head feathers. This is common with uh, birds that are caged together. It happens in cockatiels and other birds. Anyways, after Lucky Lou passed away, Coco's head feathers started growing back. It was so cute the way they grew back. And as you can see, they were like little Q-tips. It was a really popular thing to watch on my page. We called it the Sprout Reports. So anyways, as they grew in, they got taller and taller, and the more um, visual they were, the more they were used to express her emotions. A lot of people people wonder what it means when their head feathers stand up. It means excitement, happiness, anger, anything really that is beyond just sitting there. Um, so you can see as they poke up, uh, if they are clipped when they're like this, there's blood flow in there so they could bleed out. And those are called blood feathers. But Coco just got cuter and cuter as those feathers grew in. If you can't tell already how adorable she is. So as she adjusted to her life without Lucky Lou from the refuge, she kind of had to just make her way here with me, and she became my playmate. Before Lucky Lou was kind of my bird, like she would sit with me, and Coco was Lucky Lou's bird. But once Lucky Lou was gone, Coco and I became much closer, and I'd play with her, and we'd have fun. So this feather growth was all in the month of July. So that's pretty much when the feathers start really coming in every year for her. Um, she doesn't touch the head feathers anymore, but she can reach the ones at her neck. And um, she can pull those out with her feet. Sometimes you can see the little blood splatters. That's where she's actually pulled them out. And you just saw the wing feathers coming in. So anyways, right now it is May. So the feathers are really going to start popping out. She'll get a new crest. Even though she still has her crest. She'll get a brand new crest this year. And her tail and her wings. And she usually use, leaves those um, feathers alone until the fall. And then that's when she starts trimming them more but she's just as cute with feathers or without feathers and I think you can all agree hey Coco so cute